Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is January 31st, 2018, and this is our episode number 254. Today, uh, we'll look at a company called Trisu uh, in the context of our analysis of Cirela. So, uh, about the 10, the 10 most recent episodes were generated through Cirela. We looked at Cirela. We found no reason not to invest in it. Uh, and we looked at similar companies in the open market, selected three. So Trisu would be the third, let's put it as a competitor, so to speak, uh, that we're looking at. So uh, if you see here, um, we said we would look at Direcional, and we did, MRV, and we did, and now finally Trisu. So just as a as a, a mnemonic device here, uh, we discarded MRV. We did not discard Direcional, and let's see about Trisu. Trisu. Here it is. So I have looked at uh, some things for Trisu. So, first of all, debt to equity, 0.42. So it's within our desired range of 0 to 0 0.5. So we can even use the, this to update here and compare with the other ones. So among the four companies here, the best debt to equity is Trisu. All right, so let's see liabilities to equity. Liabilities to equity, 0 0.67. 0 0.67 is, is outstanding for just about any kind of company, except perhaps holding companies where they they delegate the liabilities to their uh, holdies. But certainly for a real estate development company, liabilities to equity of 0 0.67 seems uh, excellent. Current ratio, 2.64. So it's the uh, Trisus current ratio is the lowest, and here uh, I've uh, kind of digressed on, on, towards this direction many times over the over the videos. But you demand the current ratio of at the very least one point five for safety. So again, it's like you you have in your pocket or in your uh, checking account. 1.5 times the money you know you will need for uh, the next 12 months. So you have a, a margin of safety as always. Margin of safety is the number one uh, mental construct that we, that we uh, use as a lens to see the world in investment and in life, of course. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily uh, mean that the higher your current ratio, the better. If you put your uh, checking account money, you know, buying stocks, buying bonds, uh, if, or if you put it to work somehow, uh, this may even be better than having a current ratio of 10. So it doesn't necessarily follow that Trisus current ratio by being lower is worse than the other companies, all right? so. There's that. Uh, if we look at earnings here, uh, as always, uh, when we look at um, indicators, we are missing out on other things. So what we can see here is a PE10 of 13.31. So it is the lowest P10. In a P5 of 12 point, I'm very sorry, this is wrong. So the P10 is 9.68 after adjusting for inflation. So what I was saying there is the P10 in itself doesn't consider the, the numbers. So yeah, as you can see here, Trisu is, is very tiny compared with Cirel. Just keep that in mind because... Uh, all other things equal, and they never are, but just as a simplification, a larger company uh, 
is safer than a small company, all right? At the same time, uh, you know, a larger company has far less space to grow in relative terms than a small company. So uh, anyway, P5 10.77. So here uh, we see that Trisu does not have the worst P10, it's the, it's the second worst among these four. Um, or the a third best, because we tend to forget all the other companies. And in terms of P5, also third place here. But it's very interesting because all these companies have attractive P10s. Okay, so Jirisional is insane, very low. But uh, the other ones have pretty good P10s. Now, price to free cash flow over 10 years, minus 25.29, so it's negative. So it's unbelievable how all these companies have a, a certain pattern in terms of free cash flow. With the most recent years, they kind of fixed their free cash flow situation there. And over the last five years, the, their price to free cash flow is, is an astounding 1.95. This number really struck me when I saw it. Because this means if things continue the way they have been over the last five years. Let me just make sure we're talking about these five. Yes, you're expected to, if you buy this company, you're expected to get your money back as free cash flow in less than two years. All right, so this payback is insanely fast. And as a matter of fact, if you consider six years, it's even better. So this number is, is the most striking number in all of the numbers uh, we've seen for these uh, real estate companies. So a, a good point to ask ourselves, should we discard Trisu? Heck no, all right? So a company with mostly uh, profits, so 10 out of 11 of profits, free cash flow, you know, this is never good. Of course, you want a company that posts, you know, positive free cash flow year in and year out without a question. But when you see the price here, you may be on to something. And we have talked about uh, the cyclicality of, um, of real estate developers. And of course, that's, that's kind of a minus relative to, you know, a Grandini, which, you know, year in, year out, people buy shoes and they profit but when you you think on a, on a deeper level on a second level thinking as uh, I'm not even going to try to rem remember that guy's name uh, who says it um, what's his name man? I forgot anyway uh, this this may be a, a an opportunity to invest so uh, I'm not exactly sure how, how I will proceed in the next episode, but I think uh, we should I'm thinking probably to take a look at the leaderships for Direcional and for Trisu. So like look at them as possible investment ideas. I'm not I follow look, I follow this is not my you know, concept. There's a reason this is called naive investor. I follow Warren Buffett's dictum of not that over diversifying. So uh, here you see three companies that look like investment ideas. But as he says, you know, if you look, if you like, uh, do you really like your third best company in one sector as much as you like your best? You know, if you if you can't pick a winner if you can't say okay this is this has much this has better odds of of doing well you know should you even invest so uh, it's tempting to even make a little basket of investments here and we'll think about that
uh, we will consider that possibility. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, next episode still on the subject of Cirela and its uh, Direcional Entre Sul now. And uh, I hope to see you in future episodes. We do have 253 more episodes, which I invite you to watch. And as always, if you've spotted mistakes in analysis, let me know. If you have questions, suggestions, and criticism, uh, please write, and I'll write you back as soon as I can. Have a great day. Bye-bye.